Right, quick video on how to fit sidebars. So these are new sidebars we've started doing. I've kind of always shied away from sidebars for a while. We've done some previously, but my worry with them always is the quality of them and how long they last and how well they handle British weather and the chemicals that we put on in this country. So the problem with sidebars is obviously in this country, we have lots of salt on the roads. We use strong chemicals to clean them and then they corrode. So I've been looking for a factory that could supply the design and style that we liked, the angled or trapezoid design that you see a lot of people refer to them as, but also in the quality that we wanted. So a lot of people use a mild steel and they give a one year warranty. So this is 304 stainless steel with a three year warranty on all these sidebars, regardless of finish. So quality is right. The fit it's really nice and I'm going to hand you over to Trigger shortly who's going to show you how to fit them on this T6.1. T5 to T6.1, the anchor points underneath are all the same, it's just the engine under trays that change. They'll need modifying slightly to fit them in if they haven't. Not all vehicles have the under trays but um, this one does obviously and, and various ones do. Some of them will need cutting for you to fit the bracketry in but Trigger will show you exactly how to do that. So take you in closer so you can have a look at the different types of sidebars. So you can see long wheelbase and short wheelbase version. Here we have the matte or the kind of textured black which I really like that's what's going on this van here you've then got the polished or chrome finish as some people call it you can see their long wheelbase all these three come in all three colors long wheelbase and short wheelbase and probably the most popular is the gloss black finish but on this particular vehicle here like I said there's Trigger on standby so he's going to be fitting the short wheelbase matte black version to this van so he'll show you how to do it and then uh, we'll get some photos when we're done. So we've decided for this instance, instead of trying to do it on the ramp, we're going to do it on the floor. And um, reason being the chances are that you're going to be fitting this on your driveway and also the ramp legs can get in the way we're fitting them. So Greg is going to take over here and show you how to fit them. All right, and they've passed it over to me. So first step is to get the van jacked up nice and safe so we can get the under trays off. So I'll do that now. So now we've got the under trays off, we're going to offer up the anchor points for the sidebars. There is a front one and a rear one, so you can offer it up on the sill to see where the bottles line up, and then we'll get it bottled up. center of them we can offer up the sidebar there is a difference in length front to back for the brackets so you want to make sure you get the correct side to what you fit in the longer section between the bracket and the end of the sidebar wants to go at the front so you should be able to work that out with a tape measure and then we'll get it bolted up loosely mounted we're gonna just finesse it into position get the gaps right top and bottom and slowly do up all six bolts so that it matches up evenly front to back and the gaps I'll do that now. all right now we've got the sidebar attached not going anywhere we're gonna reattach the under trays and see if the brackets fail anywhere underneath. If they do, we'll just trim them back. So I'll get on with it now. Right, 
Side bars are on, all nice and square, even front to back. So we'll go ahead and refit the under trays and drop it on the ground. There we have it, side bars on, under trays on, all bolted up. You do have to do a little bit of trimming on the under tray just to compensate for the brackets that hold them. Other than that, nice simple job. Now to repeat on the other side. So one other small thing to mention on these side bars is when we've experienced side bars, when we've bought them before or when customers have brought side bars to us to fit um, when we've been doing suspension, one thing we've always noticed is how they could be quite damaged and not particularly well packed. So that was the other thing with these. When we decided to do these, I wanted to see samples and see how they were packed and they're packed really well. So I'll just show you the quality of the packaging. So they come in like double extra thick cardboard, two layers. You've got your side bars all wrapped in uh, your bubble foam, all the individual parts parts are separately wrapped in foam. We, we found a lot, a lot before that these bits were rattling around in the box and scratching the sidebars on stuff that we'd seen from customers. But they seem to be really well packed and you know all the fittings and everything, nice bits of packaging at the end, so they should host really well. The silver ones obviously are more likely to get scratched. So again, all just packed really well, make their way to you in one piece without any damage. So there we go, that's the sidebars fitted. So the beauty of this style of sidebar is, is they're not too deep. So they sort the lifted look or, or, or the lowered look. You know, if you've got a van that's really low and you've got like those really big bulbous round sidebars, you know, we've seen quite a lot of them with damage where they catch them, whereas these are shallower. They still give the nice look. They really suit the kind of the shape and that in the vehicle without being too bulbous. I mean, obviously these kind of sidebars there are just for looks. They're not set side steps as such. You wouldn't want to stand on them. They're there just to make the vehicle look better add the kind of detail along the bottom there and then protect the seals as well they're there for kind of dual purpose in that way but i think these are really smart i think they're probably already are the most popular style and shape of sidebar on the market currently so hopefully this video has been useful i think we really need to up our how to fit we get asked quite a lot about how to fit different uh, products so we're going to try and put some more effort into showing you how to fit some more stuff so if you've got a transport and you're interested in adding parts to it yourself please do like click the little bell to get updates when we bring out new videos please do share this video with anybody else that's got a transporter that might be interested in sidebars or any of the other thousands of products that we do for them and as always thanks for watching